Hey guys, love the grind here. We're out here on a chilly April day on a farm that we acquired this off season. And really we spent the majority of the winter months uh, putting together some new concepts some new strategies and really a whole new design for this farm. What's on board for today, we're gonna put in a fruit orchard. Now, this isn't just any fruit orchard. This is a strategically placed orchard as part of kind of a bigger project that we have going on on this farm. So what Jay is going to help us do today is he's going to demonstrate how to efficiently and effectively plant both an apple tree and a pear tree. And he's going to show us the process from start to finish on how to plant those trees. All right, we'll get started. These are five gallon trees. We pre-drilled the hole, but uh, main thing is do not plant it too deep. A Little bit on the shallow side, cover all the dirt, all the potting mix with fresh dirt to hold the moisture in. We use five foot T-posts, five foot wire. We use small enough wire so the rabbits can't tear up the bottom of the tree and the deer aren't gonna be able to destroy the tree. Make sure you turn your posts out so you can put the clips on. We put them on the inside of the wire so when the deer pushes against the wire, they're not gonna destroy it. In the springtime of the year, when the trees are growing, putting on leaves, we will use a string because if they put on heavy leaves and they're not rooted in completely, they will turn sideways. So we just tie a string across here to protect them and hold it from rubbing against the wire. Just use some kind of a strap that does not tear the tree up. We use a tree friendly wire. You can buy it at your local farm store. 60 inch wire. Uh, we use about a 12 to 14 gauge wire. Should typically be good enough. Main thing is close the bottom or the rabbits will get to the bottom of your tree. And a couple little fencing clips to hold the wire on and you'll be good. Most of these products can be bought at your local farm store. So to finish our process, we use some chemicals to keep the grass competition down for the first year. You'll get a lot better growth out of your tree. So uh, you can use Roundup, a few things like that. Uh, you can buy at your local farm store and uh, just don't spray any on the trunk of the tree. You'll be fine. So we're gonna drill a hole here. Don't make your hole too deep. We're gonna drill it about a foot deep and then we'll add some loose dirt to the bottom. So now we're gonna plant this tree. Make your hole about eight to 10 inches deep. Get it where the tree's not below the surface of the ground. Hill the dirt up over the potting mix to keep the potting mix from drying out until it gets rooted in. So now we're going to uh, put some posts in because we're gonna cage it. So the most important part of this process is making sure they're properly protected. Otherwise, they will destroy the tree. We're putting our posts about three foot apart. We usually use a 10 foot piece of wire, have plenty of room for the tree to grow and the deer can't get to it. But we just tie a string across here to protect them and hold it from rubbing against the wire. Just use some kind of a strap that does not tear the tree up. As you'll see, this is a two by four mesh wire, small enough to keep the rabbits out because they will destroy the bottom of your tree if you're not careful. And if you are in doubt about that, you may even want to put a wrap around the bottom of your trunk of your tree to keep that protected. You're going to want to put one of these clips on here to hold it in place. Make sure you put your posts on the inside of your wire. Any deer that will push against it, they won't be able to tear it up. If you put it on the outside, the clip can come loose and it will just go right in against the tree. So. Post on inside, wire on the out. There you go. That's what we do, plant an apple tree or a pear tree. <laughs>